We can also have arrays of structures, just like we had arrays of integers or characters or any other simple type, we can have arrays of a complex type, like a structure. It acts like any other array. You still use the bracketed subscripts, the bracket zero bracket for the first uh, element and, and so on, out through the, the number of elements uh, that are in the array. The dimensions of the array, though, multiply by the size of. And the size of is a compile time operator that says how large something is, and it can be used to then calculate how much memory is necessary. So there you see size of struct tag, and the tag, of course, is the name of the structure, the tag that you gave it when you when you developed the structure. Uh, that's so you can find out how large the structure is if you need to. But that's what the compiler is going to use to multiply by the number of elements in the array that are necessary to fulfill what you've asked it to do. Uh, remember when we did an integer array, uh, ints are four bytes long, and if you did an integer array with 10 elements to it, uh, you would get 0 through 9 elements, uh, 10, and that would be times four bytes. You take up 40 bytes of memory. Well, if you ask for a 10-element structure, 10-element array of structures, the 10 will be multiplied by the size of the structure, and that could, could wind up being a sizable block of uh, memory that you're asking for there. The elements count from zero exactly the same way, and structure arrays can also be initialized just like this. Here we strip the year off of our date structure, so we only have the month and day now, but uh, same same concept. And now uh, we still have our tag, date, but here we've made an, an array of 10 holidays. I did not go ahead and fill them all in, but here's just a few. And this is how you initialize a structure uh, array an array of structures is the way it should be said. So here we have up to 10 holidays, and we'll have January 1st and February 14th and March 17th and so on that we'll put into our simple array uh, as it is uh, initialized. So very, very similar to uh, the arrays that we've already talked about. I just want you to be aware that you can have an array of structures. Uh, you still use the dot member to uh, get to the members of the structure. So holiday sub zero dot month or dot day. Uh, really nothing new to, to put in there, uh, just that a single structure can be formed as a member of an array. Now, pointers to structures, that's going to bring us a new operator, and we're getting to that shortly. So hang in there.